Death Stranding, probably one of the most divisive game ever made. Directed by Hideo Kojima in Kojima Production. Released in November of 2019 for the PS4 and PS4 Pro by Sony Interactive Entertainment. And in July of 2020 by 505 Games for Windows. What's up everyone, this is Kale, and today I'm gonna talk about the game Death Stranding. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic America, where you control Sam Porter Bridges, and is portrayed by Norman Reedus. You are tasked to deliver essential items to different parts of the country, since people are now afraid, or should I say, they couldn't stay out for a long period of time anymore. The reason is that there's this thing called the time fall. Basically, it's just precipitation, but has an otherworldly effect. It speeds up time to whichever it comes contact with. The people are aware of this effect, so traveling to places is near to impossible. However, there are companies that provide such services, like Bridges, and you, as Sam, are working for them. To avoid spoilers, I'm gonna go over to the gameplay mechanics. If you grew up playing the Metal Gear Solid franchise, then you'll be familiar with Death Stranding especially the Phantom Pain. Anyway, it's an open world game where you travel across America on mostly unforgiving terrain, but with the aid of the items and tools that you can fabricate from different bases and safe houses, located in different parts of the map. But of course, you can't just craft ladder, ropes, or whatever. You have to make room for packages that you'll be transporting across the country. And here's the tricky part. If you stack too much items on your suit and on your back, then you will experience difficulties in traversing. So it would be wise to carry only the things that are vital to your journey. Though, you'll be prompted to press specific buttons to keep your balance if you stack up too much. But it really won't help, especially if you're walking on a slope or if you're crossing a river. Those are just some factors that may affect the way you handle your deliveries. Weather will also have an effect on you, as well as on your packages. As I mentioned earlier, the time fall that speeds up time and aging will also deteriorate the things that you are carrying. The receiver will still accept it though, regardless of the condition. As long as it's not completely destroyed, it will affect the grade that they're going to give you. Lower grade means less upgrade. Then there's the BT. They are like wandering souls in the game. Mess with them and you're in a big trouble. They look like the Dementors from Harry Potter. Beatish roam in certain areas, and they're kinda hard to locate without the help of your BB. BB's needs to be taken care of. There are instances that'll rise BB's stress level, so you must cuddle and rock them to relieve the stress. Too much stress on BBs will render them useless in detecting BTs. There are also mules and terrorists in the game that will try to steal your package. They are like scavengers in the game. Long story short, consider all the things you carry as fragile. Safe houses are present in some areas, probably the most sought up place in the game. This is where you take a break. Replenish your health and stamina with the help of an energy drink. You can also listen to a music player here while you go over through your BB and equipments. Then if you've rested enough, you can exit anytime and proceed to your task. Basically, this is the core gameplay mechanics of the game, traveling from point A to point B. That is why a lot of people say that this game is so boring, and I don't blame them, but for me, it's certainly not. So okay, going back. Aside from just mindlessly delivering items to random people, the company you are working for has a goal. Reconnect the world. The catastrophic event left the world isolated, so efforts must be brought to bring back communication across the country. By connecting specific regions to the game's internet called the chiral network. 
it's necessary to be able to take on orders and deliver to different areas covered by the network. I'll leave it at that. The game features an all-star cast, Norman Reedus, Leia Sedu, Mads Mikkelsen, Guillermo del Toro, Troy Baker, Lindsay Wagner, and to name a few. The cast did a great job, really feels like a high-budgeted film, not to mention the cutscenes, very Kojima thing. In-game music is also very good, fits nicely in the game's theme and atmosphere. And finally the world, despite it's set in a post-disaster event America, the world looked amazing. The mountains, rivers, lake, dunes, everything feels real. And interestingly enough, it's kind of relaxing. I love to play this game after a stressful day. Really a perfect game considering how difficult the current situation is. The game coincidentally mirrors today's event. Isolation, quarantine. But it is what it is. I think you should play this game, or at least give it a try if you have a PS4, PS5, or a PC. This game will teach us not to give up easily and to have faith in humanity, like in the situation we are now. Not to mention the delivering system. Like today, going out to buy stuff in stores are strongly discouraged because of the pandemic. Instead, we shift to online shopping, rely on logistics, and wait for it to be delivered on our doorstep. Like Bridges company in the game, in real life, FedEx, UPS, LBC, Ninja Van, or whatever. And despite the title, the game does not promote violence and killing. It's really a good game, and you'll love it especially if you're patient and smart. Again, others may not like this game because it lacks mission variety, but are not all games repetitive and does the same thing over and over again? So why tutorials are only shown very early in the game? What about you? Are you planning to give this a try? Or if you play this already, did you like it? Or is it boring? Leave a thought by commenting below and please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more contents like this. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Thank you, Sam. I feel whole again. I'm only six.